He's my little cuddle bear. So it's funny to me because he's, when I think of Peter Chisholm, it's like a whole plethora of emotions that come over. So, I mean, to laugh is a good thing. Now, it'd be different if I got angry, but, you know, it's a good thing because the laughter is coming from a good place. Hello. My wife is not just my wife. Um, my wife is my friend. She's my best friend. She's my partner. She's my confidant. She's, she's my other half. My wife is my life. What greatness together can you guys accomplish? Well, let's see. We've worked on numerous of <clears throat> of projects. I mean, we got a lot of kids, so we accomplished that. Um, let me see. I don't know. And anything couples can accomplish anything when they work together. Teamwork makes the dream work, honey. What greatness together we can accomplish? Everything. Um, you know, life can be so, so good when you have someone in your life that y'all see the same thing, y'all have the same goal, and y'all will help each other under every circumstance to accomplish that goal. And so far, knock on wood, uh, I'm blessed because there are many people out there who have a lot of dramas in their life um, with their spouse. They have dramas, and I'm talking about dramas that end them in jail, end them murdered. I'm talking about some crazy television movie stuff, but it's real. And I'm just so thankful that my wife has not put me or is not putting me through none of that stuff. And I'm definitely not putting her through any of that. Um, and when you have someone who works with you, um, who wants what you want and you want what they want, together, y'all can accomplish anything. So the answer to that question is anything that we want. Whatever greatness there is out there to achieve, we can do it because my partner is my partner. For your husband, can you, will you? Hmm. Yeah, I would do anything he asks me to do within the confines of my, I don't know the word, the word skips me, but without compl complicating my morals, but listen, <clears throat> when you're married, you kind of, you become one, so, you know, you have to do things to, to satisfy your spouse, so you have to be willing to not give up yourself, but you have to be willing to, to just not to say sacrifice you, but, you know, you become one. So, you you just become one with everything. So, if you really love your spouse, 
<clears throat> when they ask you to help them with something, it should be, okay? Unless they're asking you to, to hide a body, then you gotta, like, kind of, mm. and then you help them hide the body, but, you know, it's just, it's just that, if if you get where I'm coming from, it, it's just that kind of thing. For your you wife, know, you become, uh, can you? Will you? Yes. For my wife, anything. You see, when you have that special person, you're going to find yourself in situations where you will do anything for them because the love is so great, it's so unconditional. Wow. So for my wife, I will. I will, and I will. What do you want to tell him right now? I want to tell Peter Chisholm. I love you, and you are my you are my wife, you are my friend, you are my confidant, you are my pain in the ass, but I love you. I love you. What do you want to tell her right now? Well, there's so much that I love. I want to tell her and I have no problem with my communication skills as far as my wife is concerned um, but I will tell her on this interview type thing that um, she means the world to me and although sometimes we knock heads and although sometimes I may say and do things that disappoint her. I love her and I would not trade her for anybody. Um, when we got married, um, I remember the pastor saying in the vows, do you promise to love her through sickness and health, through riches, poor, and we started off at the bottom together. We're not at the top just yet, but we've come a long way and we are together. I will not trade her for anything. So I love you, baby, and you're my candy. Anything, anything I'll do. Anything, anything